So you guys are watching and going, this is not your typical video from Board at Work. And that is very true. Because today we decided to pack the bags, take our S21 Ultra, and of course our game controller and game on the go. So right now we're going into the city, into Manhattan to check out a few sites. Uh, but before that, I decided to of course do some gaming at the train station, but also games as we have right now, something like Call of Duty Mobile, is pretty, is pretty easy to just jump in and game. And I wanted to just take that experience throughout the whole day to see what that experience is. Now we got on our train into the city and uh, this is what, probably my first time using the Galaxy Buds Pro on a train and I wanted to see what that new update was like, especially with noise cancellation. And I've got to say though, uh, it actually worked out really well and if somebody's going to ask me which is better, Buds Pro than the uh, AirPods Pro, I got to give it to the Buds Pro. It actually held up pretty well. The new noise cancelling update also did a really good job. But that's not why we're here. We're here about gaming, right? We're on the train looking outside, we're recording, we're enjoying the scenery here. It's, it's cool to actually do that. Uh, I'm very happy that I got the chance to go outside. And we made our first stop at World Trade Center, the Oculus Center, which is a beautiful place. And I actually happened to have a phone call there. And this is another aspect of the device I do like. And I'm very happy, at least I had the S21 Ultra with me with the S Pen. I had a business call I had to take, I had to take down some notes, so I was able to sync that all through, use the S Pen, and that was quite beneficial. Now, you can type and write, you can do other things on devices. I like to use a pen, so for me, that continues what I do with the Galaxy Note line. So from here, we decided to go outside, take some photos, and see the scenery. Daniel was recording on his Galaxy S21, and of course, the master does some really beautiful cinematic stuff you can see. But if you want to go check out more, definitely head out to his channel. It's Daniel Sin, and also check out that video because it is some awesome work from him. Now, so from here, we went over to the vessel. Now, unfortunately, we couldn't get into the vessel and it was bloody cold anyway. But I decided to do more gaming. And as you can see here, I'm using the Razer Kishi controller. Now, some people have asked me in my, my tweets, in my posts, on Instagram, does the Kishi work with the S21 Ultra? And as you can clearly see, it definitely does. It was freezing, man. It was really, really cold at this point. But it was good to actually use this device in different places and just continue that gaming experience. Now, one thing I got from this is, this, is simply this. Gaming now has kind of changed. So yes, you can download your games, but as you saw on the train and moving from place to place, you have to have an internet connection. If you're playing games like Call of Duty Mobile, you're playing games like Genshin Impact, it really doesn't matter. If you don't have an internet connection, then that gameplay experience is lost. So I wanted to ask some of my friends what they thought about gaming on the go and guess who I got in this video. You're gonna be surprised and happy because next up, we went to go see Mr. Michael Fisher. All right guys, we were out gaming and walking around New York City, but I happened to, no actually, that's a lie. I came over to see Michael and- Just to see me? Sort of, yeah, sort of, <laughs> kind of. Sir, sir, AKA no. Okay, good, 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 that's fine. It's off to a good start. So I've got a question for you, right? Okay. This video is all about gaming, gaming on the go. Do you game on your mobile device? And do you even care? No, and no. Okay, so there you have it. That is a very <laughs> succinct answer from Mr. Mobile. With me here is the one and only Tech Chat. And, um, <laughs> the <Okay>. H <laughs> <laughs> this is my money, <laughs> the unlocker. So, generally, no. I, there was a game that I played for a bit because it came mm -hmm. on a phone, which was Asphalt 9. And because it came on the phone, I started playing it, and I, I played that for a little bit. But lately, not so much. No, do you, do you game at all? Not really. Oh, uh, no. I just <laughs> <laughs> so right. And now we have the real David. <laughs> Same question. Mm. Gaming. On mobile devices and gaming in the middle. Um, do you do that? Not so much. Generally use my phone for like learning things and watching uh, YouTube videos to learn things. Mm -hmm. But 
Occasionally, there'll be a couple things like um, there's a game called Dota Underlords or Auto Chess. Okay. That came out on mobile very quickly, so I played a little bit of that, um, but it like requires a data connection, so I kind of just stopped because I was in a different country and didn't know enough data or whatever. Actually, and when I do play like World of Warships on my fold, it's very cool to have that much space. I, I like that. But I just, if I'm gaming on the go, I'm doing it on a Switch. If I'm gaming at home, I'm doing it on a PC or an Xbox. I just, it's. I, I've never liked having to deal with a touchscreen or carrying a separate controller. It's just never been my bag. That's true. No, that's true. That's I play. Wrong. I play Nintendo Switch. Exactly. Okay. I play. So that's wait. Look, to to be fair, gaming on the go, not on a mobile device, but yeah, the Switch is actually the most gaming I ever do, because back in the before times, whenever I was on a plane, I would play it constantly. So that's that's the only gaming on the go I I would do. Yeah. And I just, yeah, not much, not much, which is kind of a bummer because I realize that they can, but I just don't really anymore. Yeah, I apologize guys. I know this is gaming on the go and I have been gaming throughout the day today, except these fools that I call friends don't actually do that. <laughs> once, once Dota 2 comes out on phones, I will be on it all the time. But until then, it's like, it's okay. the only, yes, thank it's you. the only game I've played. Thank you. I mean, I, I think Saf, <laughs> does game on mobile when he's not, I mean, look, we'll find out, we'll find out, we'll find, we'll get a clip from him and add to this. You're the only person who's talking about It's you and that's it. <laughs> this is why people watch you. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you do gaming on your channel. Yeah, because <laughs> none of us care. <laughs> no! Gaming on the go. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm actually not allowed to game at all because I then don't do any work and uh, turn into a bum. Okay, so you heard from them. <laughs> Most of them just don't play mobile games, except maybe, you know, the unlocker, who tends to play his Nintendo Switch uh, if he's flying, but we haven't really flown anywhere because of the pandemic. That being said though, the experience using this device, taking photos and taking some night shots with the S20 Ultra was fun. Uh, using the device all day, I know I haven't really talked about battery life or battery, uh, you know, battery usage in here, but I would say though, having a 5,000 milliamp battery in this bad boy really goes a long way, especially if you're using 5G connectivity, you're trying to game as much as possible, uh, you're either watching video, connected via Bluetooth, all those things together. I think a big battery goes a long way in showing that you can do all that and come back home and still have something left within the charge. I think the experience was really much fun. Uh, it's great that this device, I think, uh, handles pretty well. And the images that I got from the device throughout the day was really, really solid. I think you guys will like it. And hopefully this gives you an idea of how I like to use devices on a day to day. I don't game that much throughout the day, but I do game as much as I can. I don't game at every single stop because of course that's a bit too much for me. And of course drains my battery, but that gives you an idea of what gaming can be on your mobile device or a device like the S21 Ultra. So let me know guys, did you like this video or was this like a complete waste of your time? I mean, <laughs> if you don't like this, I will change the concept and do something else. But if you do, we'll try and do more videos like this on the channel. Now, some of you are wondering, how is the performance against the Exynos version of the Galaxy S21 Ultra? This black version is the Snapdragon version. Well, head over to my next video, which you can see linked right here, and we'll see how it performs against the Exynos version of the S20 Ultra. So I'll see you there and enjoy entertainment.